Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokemon here with another Pokemon Sword and Shield moveset video guide on how to use Toxtricity. Now, I actually really, really love this Pokemon and if you guys are, you know, enjoying these moveset video guides, feel free to subscribe, leave a like. I also have a guide on how to get these Pokemon to level 100 and basically how to uh, make your Pokemon battle ready. That's in the description below. But before we get into this moveset guide, I just have to mention that um, in order to get the different forms of Toxtricity, uh, it's basically determined uh, by it's determined by nature. So as you can see on the left, we have all the amp forms, and as you can see on the right, we have all the low key forms. So uh, that doesn't really matter in terms of what nature we're using on these Pokemon, just because we can use the mints to change the properties of our nature, which are in the game. However, you are going to need these forms as the base of the Pokemon. So you are going to need if you want to run. Uh, uh, a shift gear toxicity you're gonna need a jolly one because you need to get the amp form all right but yeah that basically explains it and this is on your screen just to help you out i'm gonna take it away for now but let's talk a little bit about toxicity being electric and poison i absolutely love that typing uh being able to absorb toxic spikes and also threaten some pretty common pokemon in the tier like corviknight uh punk rock is also a really cool ability because it boosts your sound base moves and it also makes you more resistant to sound base moves as well. I believe it's a 50% boost to your sound base moves and also 50% resistant to those sound base moves, if I'm not mistaken. Which is super cool because this Pokemon does learn Boom Burst. And Boom Burst is stronger than a Stab Overdrive, which is also a sound base move as well. It's also an electric type attack. So that's really cool because most of the time you can just send this Pokemon out and just click Boom Burst. Uh, unless Overdrive is super effective on the Pokemon, then Boom Burst is, for the most part, stronger. But yeah, we have Boom Burst, Sludge Wave, Overdrive, and Volt Switch on a Choice Spec set. This can also double as a Choice Scarf set as well. But Choice Specs makes your moves just incredibly, incredibly hard to switch into. We're Timid Nature just to maximize our speed, but you can potentially be um, Modest Nature as well for a little bit more of a damage output. Sludge Wave, Overdrive, and Volt Switch are our stab moves. Uh, Volt Switch is nice, being able to get on out of there, keeping momentum. Uh, Sludge Wave lets you threaten fairy types, but for the most part, you're probably just gonna be clicking Boom Burst with this Pokemon, honestly. Comes out, and it's gonna click Boom Burst. And uh, the cool thing is, you can come in on a Pokemon like Sub Corbinite, for instance, and because Overdrive is a sound-based move, it actually goes through the sub. So even if uh, Corbinite is at plus six behind a substitute, you can knock it out with an Overdrive just because you are choice specs. Uh, the next set we do have is a Life Orb set. Now, this is a mixed set, and one of the main Pokemon that can actually come in on uh, Toxtricity is Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn does resist Boom Burst, it resists Overdrive, and Sludge Wave it is immune to. So, a mixed set with Fire Punch actually allows you to hit Ferrothorn for some super effective damage. We're running a Life Orb on this set, we're naive natured on this set, that way we don't have to uh, turn down our uh, attack by going Timid, which we were in the, uh, in the previous one. And basically, it's just a nice little way of chipping away at Feral Thorn. Uh, for the most part, it's the exact same thing. You're going to be clicking Boom Burst Overdrive. Uh, we just got rid of Volt Switch as a way to muscle through Feral Thorn, uh, especially with those Feral Thorn Rotom Wash teams that are running around. This allows you to deal with that. One thing I also want to mention before we go on, and I completely forgot, but I'm doing this stream with my buddy A Drive and my buddy Tyler, and it's a 252 hour marathon that we've been doing since last friday so it's actually a week and we're doing eight hour shifts my shift is uh 3 a.m to 11 a.m and we actually have limited edition drop a draco merch available during this uh you know it looks like the Raladon. it's actually a callback to my original drop a draco merch so if you guys do want to check it out uh that link is down below it's only going to be available until the stream ends which is going to be on monday and if you also want to see me i'm going to be on twitch.tv slash a drive every night from 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern. I have the European shift, basically. But after that, on Tuesday, I'll be back on my own stream. But I just wanted to let y'all know, so if you want to check it out. All right, so, yeah, the idea of the Life Orb set is to basically allow Toxtricity a way of dealing with um, some of the Pokemon it can't, mainly Ferrothorn, but also still threaten Pokemon like, like Rotom as well with your Life Orb Boom Burst or Overdrive. And uh, one thing I do want to note is some teammates that actually work really well with Toxtricity. We do have two more sets, but before we go, I'm going to know some teammates. Some teammates that work really well with Toxtricity are obviously Ground Immunities and Psychic Resistances. Now, two very good teammates with Toxtricity are actually Corviknight and Hydreigon because they cover both of those. Uh, Hydreigon does have a Levitate, so it doesn't get hurt by ground-type attacks unless it's like a Mold Breaker Extra Drill. And Corviknight um, also is a Flying-type, so obviously it is immune to the Electro-type attacks. 
Uh, excuse me, not the electric attacks. No, 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 no. To the um, ground type attacks coming out at Toxicity. Likewise, Hydreigon being part dark type and, and Corviknight being part steel type means that Corviknight does resist the psychic type attacks that come out at Toxicity and Hydreigon is immune to them. And they work really well. And they particularly like the fact that Toxicity deals with Pokemon like Haze Toxapex, for instance. And also, um, they, they can set up on Pokemon that Aspects Toxicity does not like. So a Pokemon like Ferrothorn, a sub bulk up Corviknight does not care. A uh, sub nasty plot, Hydreigon can do a lot of work. But the reason sub bulk up Corviknight doesn't care is it's immune to the Leech Seed when it's behind a substitute. So that's really nice. And Ferrothorn has a lot of trouble breaking a substitute. So those are two really good teammates. And I also really, really like Spikes with this Pokemon. I think you also just want a solid uh, answer to um, Rotom as well. Like This is something that can take the Voltures from Rotom, but... Uh, I'm interested in Manitin as well. So, uh, funnily enough, another poison type that pairs really well with Toxtricity, and you know, answer to Darmanitan doesn't really make a lot of sense because there's not very many answers to Galarian Darmanitan, but Toxapex is actually a pretty cool uh, Pokemon to use with it. While it does share the ground type and the psychic weakness, it's also a great Galarian Darmanitan answer. And uh, if they go for Earthquake, you can just switch out and get your Regenerator. But yeah, that's just a few teammates that can work. The next set is kind of taking advantage of the fact that this is the uh, the punk rock version, by the way. So again, I showed you guys the natures earlier, but in order to get this one, you need to have uh, Jolly, Impish, Lax, all that stuff on the team. But again, if you use nature mints, which are in the game, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about with nature mints, check out that guide to getting uh, you know level 100 Pokemon and competitive Pokemon down below in the description. But uh, basically, in order to have shift gear, that's the main difference between these two. They have, in terms of competitive, then matters this thing gets shift gear whereas low key does not so shift gear is really cool because it does raise your speed times two and it raises your attack plus one however similarly to the last generation where magirna would use shift gear and then use three special attack stats this pokemon can use shift gear and use three special attacks as well um, basically there's a new item called the throat spray which boosts your special attack uh, after you use a sound based move and Boom Burst and Overdrive are both sound-based moves, so you can use this thing to potentially sweep. You can use this thing to potentially sweep, and I think that's so cool, um, using uh, basically a, a sound-based uh, move and then uh, taking advantage of the, the new item as well. I think you want to be timid on this thing. You could go modest, but um, timid is really nice for, for outspeeding, like Choice Scarf Excadrill, for instance, or anything like that. Modest can do the same thing, if I'm not mistaken, but... I think there's also some speed tiers with like Adamant Dragapult, if I'm not mistaken as well. I might be a little bit off on that one. I did the calc really late last night and um, I'll run it right now actually. 272 times 3 is 546 and it's like 3. Yeah, so I think you're just a little bit faster than an Adamant Dragapult, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm remembering, and I'm actually just going to check right now. Again, this is really unprofessional. I should have done this before. I'm so sorry. Um, yep. You are just faster than Adamant Dragapult. So some Dragapults are running Adamant on even their Dragon Dance sets. So that's pretty cool as well. Obviously, you don't do a lot of damage to them because they do uh, resist most of your moves. But when you have a Throat Spray boost and you have uh, Punk Rock as well boosting your special attack, I think that's still pretty important. And also, you know, being faster than Choice Scarf, uh, Cinderace, which is running around at times, and Pokemon below that speed tier. That's why I think Timid can work. But again, you could use Modest and you get that extra oomph in the special attack stat by using throat spray uh, but again it, the idea behind the set is using shift gear to raise its speed and then to abuse that special attack and using the new item in throat spray and the uh, last set i believe we do have is a shift gear physical set now i don't think this set is very like great i really don't um i would personally use specs scarf or even the throat spray uh throat spray uh throat spray set excuse me but it does have a decent physical move pool, right? Obviously, I tell you guys that Fire Punch is really nice, uh, allowing it to deal with Steel types that otherwise wall uh, the combination of Wall Charge and Gunk Shot. So, Ferrothorn is the biggest one that comes to mind. Uh, Gunk Shot is your physical stab. It's incredibly strong at plus one because Shift Gear, again, does raise your speed plus two and does raise your attack uh, plus one. Um, and it allows... Uh, if you hit the Gunk Shot, obviously, you can do a lot of damage with it. Though, I would advise if you don't want to risk missing Gunk Shot, Poison Jab is a decent alternative as well. And then we do have Wild Charge. Now, we are running a Life Orb, which Wild Charge with Life Orb, we're taking so much recoil. But this thing honestly does need the attack stat. Base 98 attack is not the best option. A few other options could be potentially Drain Punch 
on uh, this Pokemon over Fire Punch, but I think Fire Punch makes a lot more sense. Drain Punch is good for Tyranitar, but Fire Punch just makes a ton of sense for, um, for Feral Thorn. Uh, Power Punch is also an option. Maybe you could run like a, an extra belt instead of a Life Orb, though. In that case, that way you're not taking so much damage. And uh, it doesn't really have much that can deal with on the special side with a Pokemon like Dragapult, for instance. But it does hit incredibly hard. It does get Hex, though. So if you want to run it on a special set, not necessarily this one, but on one of the original special sets, that could work. But yeah, that's the idea behind Toxtricity. It's going to be a really strong, hard hitter. And I think I don't think this thing will be OU by any means, for those that know about tiers. I do think it will be a lower tier Pokemon, but like a UU Mon, just because Boom Burst just hits so incredibly hard. And I, you know, I could just be absolutely wrong. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Like I said, if you want to pick up the Drop a Draco merch, it's very limited. It is going to be gone uh, basically Monday night. As far as I know, the link is down below. I'll link that and um, ship to worldwide. There's also a whole bunch of other shirts that we have there that's available, but like the first row of them. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And I'll see you guys later today with the Toxtricity Showcase. Goodbye, my friends.